Welcome to New Venture Creation, brought to you by the UFS Business School. Hashtag be worth more. Hello, I'm Werner from 123CY, the startup coach and facilitator of the New Venture Creation program. It's also been my privilege to co create the program with and for the UFS Business School. Your commitment or the, the commitment required from you will be 12 weeks back to back. From idea to business plan and pitch, or if you take up the full challenge, from idea to business plan, pitch, and first transactions. During the new venture creation adventure, you'll be able to start a new venture or take an existing venture you're operating back to the drawing board. And you'll find that I'm non-specific in terms of the type of venture. It may be that your idea will be better served to your market in a for-profit or a business vehicle, or your idea may be better served to your beneficiaries or market in a non-profit vehicle, or as I like to call it, a pro-surplus vehicle. A quick overview of your journey. We're going to start from me to my market. Who are you? What are you you made of? What interests you um, versus what's out there? The needs, the problems, existing business ideas, existing non-profit ideas, what resonates with the true you from me to my market, crafting a crystal clear value proposition through rigorous interviews. That will culminate in your marketing plan, after which you'll visualize your day-to-day, your operations plan for your new venture. What key activities will help you to serve your value proposition to your market segments and to continuously improve said value proposition. What key internal resources will you need? Human resources, financial, uh, intellectual property, raw materials, processes, etc. to help your venture to serve the value proposition to the market and continuously improve the value proposition. What key external partners will your venture need? accountants, legal advisors, marketing advisors, etc. to help you to serve your value proposition to your market segments and you heard my mantra to continuously improve your value proposition. You will retell the story of your business in financial terms under your financial story, your financial plan. Often key external partner like a business accountant, a business advisor will be the wind beneath your wings to help you Retell the story of your business in numeric terms. The numbers must speak to the words. The words must speak to the numbers. They must be integrated. They must tell the same story. This is the proper way to launch a new venture. You'll wrap all of that up and craft your business plan throughout the process. You'll summarize in a very visual business plan summary. Template will be provided. And that will help you to prepare a three to five minute pitch, which you will deliver in a circle of trust to people who are there to help you further improve your business plan. So that a short summary of your journey through the new venture creation adventure. You'll you'll be able to choose between the 50 shades of entrepreneurship, including intrapreneurship. Are you that person that works inside an organization? who sees gaps internally and room for improvement? Are you the pioneering entrepreneur who starts a a new venture with a new brand, etc.? Are you the franchise type? Are you the non-profit entrepreneurial, the social entrepreneurial type? Are you the 10% of my time side hustle type? Is that your shade of entrepreneurship? Think about that. We create regular opportunity for you to reflect on what you've done, to discuss it with yourself through journaling, and to discuss it with your peers. This is one of the key building blocks in becoming a continuous innovator, which in the ever-changing world that we live in, and it will exponentially increase into the future, is one of the core values which we would like to instill in you, is to become your version of a continuous innovator. One of the unique selling points of the new venture creation experience of the UFS Business School, we've stripped down the theory, we've brought you into the action through what do you think, 
talk to people about this, about that. Write something about what your opinion is. Think about that. Consider this. It's all putting the ball in your court, keeping you in the action, getting you used to thinking and doing and thinking and doing, which is the, the, one of the key values in the creator of a new, new venture, which we would like to install. So less theory, more action. You'll see the nice rhythm throughout this process of discovering myself and crafting processes through which to build my own powers of innovation. So discover and build, discover the market, build a profitable market in the gap. So first you discover the gap in the market, then you build a profitable market in the gap. Or if you are in the social entrepreneurship space, nonprofit, how to serve the needs in sustainable fashion with value for money. Embodiment of your new venture is key if you would like to sell it. And we are all human and all humans sell most of their time. We convince, we influence others anyway. So we want you to embody the story of your new venture or the venture you're taking back to the drawing board. We've created multimedia theory, video, audio, limited reading, bite-sized micro-learning bits for you to work a little, integrate it with who you already are, that you can embody your new venture story as it develops. We invite you to grow healthy habits of a new venture creator. If it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a network to sustain a venture, whether it's a for-profit or a non-profit venture. So networking, getting real with decision makers in your network, being authentic, selling substance of your new venture or the venture you're taking back to the drawing board, presenting your story in an authentic fashion, using storytelling and various techniques to help you to authentically present your, your case if you have that one or two minutes with a decision maker outside an elevator. Your style of innovation, your powers of innovation, how to become fit for your flavor of entrepreneurship and what kind of innovator are you becoming, that which you already are, becoming more of that. The growth of resilience, loving the setback, loving the closed door, striving for the next door, seeing my market as an ocean of rejection on which the boat of my new venture floats. While I calmly cruise to my next whale or my next school of fish or my next partner um, that might come in, in, in a boat alongside mine. So the growth of resilience, we use tried and tested techniques for you to accept people saying no, people saying not now, and to commit to, to taking your new venture to the heights that you've envisaged. One of the controversial aspects, perhaps, of this new venture creation adventure, we want you to learn and to make your mistakes now. Fail before you launch. We want you to fail. Like a child learning to walk, they do it with such such a sense of fun and laughter. We want you to, to learn how to fall before you launch, that you can launch with reasonable confidence. Integration, inspiration, enthusing you with stories, poetry, metaphors like the red and blue ball, reflections, daily, regular reflections on what you've done, what you're planning for the next day, and inspirational quotes are interlaced throughout the new venture creation experience. The red and blue ball, a very key metaphor which bounced into the experience and which will help you to, to test all your decisions against two things. Firstly, is it in service of my venture delivering the value proposition to the customer and continuously improving that? Does it bring me, enhance my joy, my fulfillment, and secondarily, yet equally important, does it enhance or sustain my ability to convert the, the delivery of my value proposition to cash on the business side if I'm into a non-profit venture? Does it help me to deliver my value proposition to my beneficiaries in value-for-money fashion? 
we invite you to accept the following challenge. You can go for a university certificate only. That's up to you. However, why don't you take the 12 weeks to say, I'm going to take from my idea to my first transactions within 12 weeks. And thereafter, why don't you take it further and say, I'm going to launch after my first 100 transactions have been concluded and the money is in the bank. Or on the non-profit side, having received um, donations or revenue for certain transactions or grants from government agencies sufficient for serving 100 beneficiaries. Why don't you wait with your official launch before 100 transactions from your new venture or the venture you've taken back to the drawing board before you launch? In that way, you can take existing customers or clients or beneficiaries and invite them to your launch. You don't have to uh, rent a crowd with your friends. Through our assignments, which we want you to see as orders, customer or client orders, they're regular, they require regular work from you through the 12 weeks, from your idea to your business plan, your pitch, um, the video that you will be uh, creating towards the end. Get fit for this type of lifestyle, working regularly and delivering orders regularly. We've created the academic side of this experience as a business, so make full use of it and get fit for delivering orders on time at value for money quality. Inquiries and applications, you're welcome to contact me. My email address and telephone number is on your screen and I will leave them in the end screen. And all that's left for me is to thank you for journeying through this intro video with me. Hashtag be worth more through the new venture creation experience of the UFS Business School and I'll see you in the marketplace. I, I.